the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. That's humid too. It's a eight swamp, I tell you. Nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? Oh, please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. Imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever than you think. When this is done, I'm taking a week in New York. It's high time I went and saw the sight. Of empty whiskey bottles and women's breeches, no doubt. <laughs> what other kinds of sights is worth seeing? See you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means, we need more land. The French understand this, and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait, to scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, or he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow.
We should follow the river instead. The troop would be exposed there. We must maintain the element of surprise. We are near 2,000 men. One scout is all they need to know of us. Kill them! out amongst those I command. No sympathy for the enemy. I've no time for insubordination. He paid for his treachery, as all traitors must. If we are to win this war against the French, nay, when we win this war, it will be because men like you obeyed men like me and did so without hesitation. We must have order amongst our ranks and a clear chain of command, leaders and followers. Without such structure, there can be no victory. Am I understood? Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Where are you off to? I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away! I said go! I don't deserve this! You're a hypocrite, Hatham! I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand! Death opens a door. It's nothing personal. 
Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered. And for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. No! You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And... The love still gives us strength. You've shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. 
Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of Understanding, of understanding, guide, understanding us. guide us. Wait, what? You all saw that, right? Wow. Well, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but it turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. Equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. That was unusual. Well, I'm just going to pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus. What are you working on? Lots of different stuff. If you're going into the field, we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch. Hacking into local security systems won't cut it. Thanks. For what? I don't know. Everything. You've sacrificed a lot for me. You and Sean both. I mean, you upgraded the Animus, you helped train me, pulled me out of that coma. You put all that work into the database, helped me solve Clay's puzzles. I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. You really think we'll finally get some answers down here? Maybe. Talking to the first Civ has always been a pain in the ass, though. Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? They've been separated from us by tens of thousands of years. A completely different language and culture. Possessed of an intelligence vastly superior to our own. We're lucky they've communicated as much as they have. I don't know why they had to make this all so complicated. I mean, if they need something from me, they should just come out and say it. I've been wondering about that myself. I get the sense Juno and Minerva didn't exactly see eye to eye. I'm studying everything I can get my hands on, but maybe you'll find something down here that can shed light on the mystery. 
what happened between them and why. What do you think's behind that door? No idea. Do you think it can save us? The first Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's not like we have a lot of alternatives. Well, we could... I don't know, warn the President? And what's he gonna do? Who's to say he isn't in bed with Abstergo? Seems everyone is these days. What if we went to them? To Abstergo, I mean. I thought about it, actually. Showing them what we've seen, trying to work together. They must know so much more than we do, but... What is it? It's possible they know exactly what's going to happen. That they want it to happen. I mean, for all we know, they're hiding out in bunkers right now, waiting for the world to end. And then, when it's all over, out they come. Ready to take control. God, I hope you're wrong. So do I, Rebecca. So do I. All right, I should be getting back to work. Yes? Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. Jesus, Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. <sighs> you are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. Let's just get back to work, okay? Would you look at that? What is it? If I had to guess, I would say it's a counter. And judging from the iconography, I think it's safe to say, when that's emptied, the end begins. Hello, Desmond. How's things? Same old. Another day, another ancestor. Who'd have thought you'd have a Templar in your family tree? I think he started out as an assassin. They must have turned him. Right you are, in fact. I've been reviewing our archives, and it appears that Haytham's father was indeed an assassin. Which means he was likely one too, at least for a little while. What else did you find? That fellow from the opera, Reginald Birch, Grand Master of the London Chapter of Templars, he and Haytham's father, a man named Edward, well, they were long-time rivals. Now, it appears Birch got his hands on Haytham at a rather young age, worked his wiles to convince Haytham to switch sides. wonder how he did it. I'll see if I can't dig up more. Hon honest answer, please, Desmond. Do you think we're getting out of this alive? I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty tall order. If the first Civ couldn't save the world, how the hell are we supposed to swing it? We have some time. We have less than two months. They had decades and a lot more resources. And the worst part is we knew this was coming for, what, hundreds of years? History repeats, it seems. The first Civ was so busy with their war against us, no one even noticed what was happening. We get advance warning and then hold a fight in with the Templars. Lovely. Hopefully, whatever's behind that door will make a difference. And if it doesn't? Well, at least we tried. Back to work I go. You should consider doing the same. could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. 
The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. We could not meet the sun's cruel embrace. Perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Rohe <laughs> Nek zi ohondo yo ha wihtun ya de ha ganerakwe. Zi nuer o jokwa templar al guego tadinya ro darhoks. Ne on ha at get sarnis. Zi got get sun a riyan a ahigun sagantanu a got kato zi ne sagar raskarneks. <laughs> 